Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Spirit Island. Well, the digital adaptation of the popular tabletop game. One that I do want, actually, but uh, it is rather expensive and I want to wait for, you know, just when it comes down in price, if ever. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got Digital Spirit Island. Um, this version of Spirit Island does not contain all of the stuff out there. Um, the Spirit Island board game has a couple of expansions that this game does not yet feature, and I hope that someday they will add them. Um, because every expansion will add new spirits that people can play as, and uh, I just I find their different powers really cool. Um, Idly has played this before, but um, I think you, it's been a while, right? Oh my gosh, it's been so long, I have no idea what I'm doing. This okay. is like brand new again. Alright, so we're playing <laughs> uh, Remote Play Local. So we're all sharing one mouse here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to click on new game, two boards and spirits. Uh, we'll do low complexity preferably. So we can actually choose which spirits we want to be. Um, now, for the purposes of remote play, it's acting like I'm controlling both. So you pick mm -hmm. one, I pick one, and then we'll just act like they're ours, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Is um, this co-op or versus? It is co-op. So oh. we'll be working together to stop the invaders from corrupting the, the, the land. Okay? Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. So yeah, Spirit Island is a through and through co-op game. There is no competitive mode. It's always, uh -huh. it's like Pandemic and Castle Panic. You're always playing a co-op. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll see if I can find a, a, a low com complexity spirit for you. Okay. This okay. one's not bad. River surges in sunlight. Um, put one influence on your starting board in the highest number of wetlands. While capable of some offense, um, your primary goal here is going to be control mainly and utility, but you do get some offensive powers in there as well. That might be good for you. Okay. Um, on the reverse side, it says your influence in wetlands counts as double influence whenever you've got a double influence on a land um that may activate certain cards um mm -hmm. note your innate powers in the middle of the screen it says massive flooding it's a slow slow power so it will activate toward the end of the round but okay. you need a double influence uh or within range one of a double influence in order for you to activate your innate power. But if you have one influence on a wetland, your wetlands count as two per the bottom left. So just having one influence on a wetland, that counts as a double. Mm -hmm. So that's that's called a sacred site. And that will also activate your innate powers if you play these particular icons. The cards that you play, I'm going to show hands real quick. Mm -hmm. um, this boon of Viger, for example, Vigor, Viger, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll correct me at some point. Vigor. Thank you. <laughs> On the left-hand side of the card, you'll notice icons, yellow, blue, and green. Mm -hmm. Whenever you play these cards, they contribute towards your innate powers. And if you play mm -hmm. enough of those colored icons, you get to do cool stuff, assuming that you've met the other requirements. Like, do you have a double influence marker or a wetland influence and is it within range one of that like the, the, the what you're trying to do mm -hmm. um so on the first step it says push one colonist uh or explorer or one town if you have two yellow and three blue instead two damage push up to three of these things and then the strongest power you have is with three yellow four blue and one gray instead mm -hmm. two damage to each invader so um, you do get more powerful with this character over time. Um, so I think that's a good starting one for you, unless there's another one that you really want. Um, mm, no, they're all the same to me. Oh, wow. <laughs> just because I haven't played. Yeah. I think it's so long. I'll try and pick one that is just also a low, com that's a high complexity. Mm -hmm. I want someone with high, uh, let's see, you have, let's take a look at your your stats. You've got moderate offense and high control maybe i might want to stick to someone with high defense and fear you okay. know just to sort of round us out a bit uh let's see if i can find someone like that uh vital strength of the earth um low complexity very high defense so 
Um, this guy, um, I guess we'll try him. He's powerful but slow. It takes. It's going to take some time for me to actually get my presence out there on the board. But what's cool about this guy is that everywhere where I've got a double influence, I defend three automatically in that land. So whenever enemies try to ravage land, I've got an inherent defense to it already without having to play cards. So it's mm -hmm. a very defensive one. And this innate powers, the gift of strength, I can play this during the fast phase which is like you can play cards and then the enemies do things and then you can play slow cards mm. um, but anyway once per turn target spirit may repeat one power card with energy cost of one or less um, and then so basically I can replay the same cards that I've played uh, and the more icons I contribute to this the the more powerful the card I can play again mm. um, so I might actually choose that one um, just because it is defensive in nature. So okay. I'm going to drag that one over top that one. So I will be on the C board there, and you will be on the D board. Okay. Okay. Now, I am playing this with reduced difficulty settings, so it's going to be probably very easy for us to win, but with this being a learning game, you know, mm -hmm. we can always turn it up, you know, later in a future, future game. Yeah. But we're going to have an extra uh, growth step, during okay. uh, the beginning of the game, meaning that we get to do basically a free action and then we get to actually start playing the game. So okay. this allows us to do more things before the game even starts. Um, another one is invaders do not explore at the end of setup. Typically invaders would already be invading and in set up. Turning this off means it's going to take them longer to move around the board. So that's another thing. We also have unlimited undo Con seeing as how the interface is a bit touchy sometimes, I think that's just a necessary thing regardless. And mm -hmm. then Blight cards. Um, as we earn Blight, if, if they attack lands and ravish lands, um, there may be negative effects on top of Blight itself. Um, I think I, I, I vaguely remember Blight. Yeah, oh. a Blight <laughs> card is just an extra bad thing when Blight happens. Mm -hmm. um, I'm turning that off, and the lose condition is just solely, if you have this much blight on the table, you lose, collectively. Mm -hmm. The branch and claw expansion is optional. I'm going to turn that off for right now. You do have to turn this on when you're playing as one of the, uh, when one of the particular uh, spirits, but... No scenario, no adversaries. Adversaries simply make the game more challenging. It gives them extra powers during the game. Scenarios mm -hmm. are just like, I guess they're just predetermined setups and the like. I really don't like that. I'm just going to play regular. So, all right. Um, we'll go ahead and hit go. Cool. And let's take a look here and see what's going on. Okay, so my spirit is in the bottom right-hand corner, and your spirit is in the upper left-hand corner. Um, real mm -hmm. quick, is there supposed to be sound in the game at all? Uh, my sound is turned down because, um... Okay. Like, I have effects oh, volume okay. and music okay. volume really low, mm -hmm. but that's just no, for the sake Yeah, of mm -hmm. now I hear, like, I heard it you when heard you were clunk, quiet. Like a little yeah. bamboo, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's fine. You don't really need it, to be honest with you. Okay. But, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, you and I will both mm -hmm. get a free action in the beginning of the game because we chose that as part of our difficulty setup. Yep. So, um, what we're going to do is we're each going to pick one growth option. Your growth options are you can reclaim all cards, meaning that as you play cards in this game, you're going to put them into a discard pile. So, in order to get them back, you have to reclaim your cards. And that's what that particular growth does. In addition to this, you also get to draw a power card from either the minor or major deck to get more cards into your hand. And then you also gain one energy. You could do all of that, or you can add two presents. Um, whenever you add a presence, you're going to add uh, at a distance of zero or one away from your current presence areas is that the little mushrooms the the no, yellow those are villagers those are the natives to the land oh okay and the gray stuff is blight right this this Isn't bubbly stuff it's like that tar looking stuff is blight yeah. mm -hmm. um your influence are these teal tokens here okay these so that's, that's a presence. double yeah that's your presence and the reason why it's starred like that that's a sacred site 
-hmm. Normally, you would need two there for it to be a sacred site. But again, your inherent ability is your influence in your wetlands counts as a double. Sacred site. And okay. this light, this this aqua land that you're in is a wetland. Yep. So you've got a double influence there. Um, I don't see influence anywhere else. Looks like I start one there and one there. Mm -hmm. Um but you can so you can either reclaim cards, draw or reclaim cards, draw a card, and then gain an energy, or add two presents to the board, or gain a power card and add a presence, but you can add it two spaces away from a current location. Okay. So do you have any idea of what you might want to do? Um Do you need a I, recap of what you're trying I, to I do? I do, yeah. Like I, I remember the UI but I don't remember how, like, what's the wind condition and how to play and all that. <laughs> no, I understand. So the main wind condition is, well, there's a couple of ways to win. Mm -hmm. Ideally, we're trying to make them afraid of us. Okay. Um, by making them afraid of us, they are, they're right now, they're at Terra level one. In yep. order to win, we have to eliminate every single white piece of theirs off the table. That yep, includes okay. explorers, towns, and the bigger cities or whatever. Mm -hmm. When they go to the next Terra level, then one of those three things will drop off and it'll be easier. So as long as we take out all of these two things, then we win. And when we get mm -hmm. to Terra level three, we just need to eliminate all of one thing in order to win. Um, so the, the more afraid they are, the less we have to take off the board to win. Okay. Um, if we get our terror level high enough, we just automatically win. If we get it to terror level four, we just win automatically, regardless of the state of the board. Okay. Um, by increasing terror level, right now it says zero of eight. As we add, if we add eight fear to them, then we increase. We we draw another terror card for ourselves. After drawing mm -hmm. so many cards to help us from the terror deck. Then we move on to Terra level two. We drop more cards yep. from that Terra level three, and then so on. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to stop them from ravaging the land. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm sorry, real quick. The the power cards, right? Um, you play them. How do you play them again? Okay. So we'll get there. <laughs> um, before we get into cards, let's take a look at your your board. Mm -hmm. Um, your presence is you've got two rows of presents here yes so one is how much energy you're getting per turn which is one and how many okay. cards you can play per turn which is one that's right as you add presence to the board these become more powerful mm -hmm. okay so when you add when you add presence via the add a presence action you're adding stuff from your player mat to the board to make these more powerful Interesting. now during a round as you had asked about about playing cards you've got a hand mm -hmm. of four cards that you start with um and there are a couple of phases in a round uh typically it's going to be choosing a growth which is what we're doing now okay. then we can play cards um and these cards here have a cost in the upper left hand corner uh mm -hmm. it's either zero two zero one um that is how much energy you need to spend in order to even play them. Okay. So that's why energy per turn is important because you need energy to play these cards. But it's color specific, isn't it? Yeah. Red, you can play these cards before the enemy reacts. And okay. the blue cards are slow cards. You can play them after the enemies take their turn. Oh, okay. okay. Your massive flooding ability is a slow power. So this that that will activate after the enemy does something. I see. Okay. So you have a hand of cards. So red is like immediate. You'll get to play those before the enemy does something. And then blue cards you play after the enemy does something. Okay. Um, on the very bottom here is the... I guess the invasion track. Mm -hmm. um, it's you've got three cards at level one, four cards at level two, five cards at level three. These become more nasty as the game goes on. If you if the enemy tries to draw a card from this deck and there are none, then we lose. Okay. So we have a limited number of rounds to complete something. Mm -hmm. But whenever they explore, 
it's these cards will show a terrain type and there mm-hmm. are four terrain types there's yeah. desert and yellow wetland and blue forest and green and mountain and gray mm-hmm. so the card might say mountain so for every for every mountain area on the board if there is a white town or white explorer next to it Mm -hmm. they will be able to spawn another explorer and move it there yeah which is bad we don't want them exploring anything or we want to contain them and the way to get rid of towns is cards right cards correct Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if once they're done exploring if there are any cards in the build column then they will build on that terrain type if they have a unit there. Okay. So these cards, as they explore, shift to build. Okay. So if, again, in that same example with the mountains, if they explore the mountains, that means on the next turn they will build on the mountains. That mm-hmm. mountain card will move over to the build. Once they build on the mountain, um, that card comes over to Ravage for the next turn. And left unchecked, they will attack that spot. And kill the inhabitants there and possible and add blight if they do enough damage. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to stop them from doing all of these things. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I think I need to get more presents out on the table. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to do the same. So uh, based on the cards that I have, um, I've got a lot of three, three, one, three. So I'm going to take the add a presence and gain two energy action. And mm-hmm. so I'm going to take a presence from my board. And I think I'm going to add um, three energy per turn is nice. Um, yeah, I'll take that. And where am I going to add that? I have to add it. Yeah, I'm going to add it there. That's fine. Um, I'm trying to spread out across the land as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Now, the coastal area is this dark blue section. I know all of it looks like it's surrounded by water, but mm-hmm. the coast is actually this darker blue area. Yeah. And that's important mm-hmm. because once we remove them from the inland, then the only way they can come is via the ocean again or from mm-hmm. existing buildings. So I like to remove them from the inland first and push them back toward the coast, but that's just my strategy. Mm-hmm. Um, so I did that. I, I I put an influence on the table and I added two energy to my pool. Now you can do something. You can add two presents via the middle um, option. You can gain a power card and add a. Can we share tiles? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. You can put one on. Yeah, you can put presents on my land and vice versa. Okay. Um. I will add a press. I'll do the second one. Add a presence? Yeah. So that means you can do it twice. Yeah. So what would you like to take from? Do you want to go from one energy per turn to two energy per turn or one card per turn to two cards or one card per turn to two cards per turn? That's how many you can play. Yeah. Let's do, let's do two energy. Okay. And where will you, where do you want to put that? Um, You've got the mouse control too. So if you want to click and drag, you can. Okay. So I'll do that. Now, can I? Can they get rid of my presence? The white if, stuff. Yes, if they attack an a uh, land and your presence is there, they can be. It, your presence can be removed. Ooh, nasty. But mm. some of your card powers can only activate if they're on. Like you have to look at your cards and see the range. Yeah, that's right. So if let's take a look at your cards real quick. So mm-hmm. try right clicking on. Yep, so that one, it says range one of any land that you have control over, for example. Yeah. Um, Plus one damage. That one is range, no range necessary. You target another spirit and they gain energy, essentially. So it's just a utility card. Um, That is a range of zero. So Mm -hmm. you have to play this on a territory that you have an influence on. That has like these things, right? Not not the yellow things, but the blue things. The yellow things are think of them as the natives. They are like the indigenous people of the island. You can use them, they will fight back, but you can only go within range of your presence, your spirits. What presence. Is, and what are these houses then on the That is the that is the indigenous people. Those house look those house icons, those are people. 
Well, yeah, that's what I was talking about, right? Like, this thing is this. Gather right? two, but you can only play the card. It, take a look at the middle of the card. It says zero. speed range it's, zero. That means yeah. range zero of your presence areas. Yeah, so that's why I was thinking of putting that there so that I could possibly play that card next turn. Yeah, but to... the gather option, mm -hmm. um, it says gather up to two. Gather yeah. means you pick another territory and then you move people to it. So it depends. You would want to put your influence on a spot where you're trying to move things to, not from. Oh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. I really haven't played this in ages. That's all right. It's like a, it's like I haven't played this at all. All right. So okay. So now, is it good to have more presence on one tile? Um, two. Honestly, two was good. Um, but not all cards need that. Um, mm -hmm. for example, your cards. Um, none of them, none of them require double influence. So it's how not you, really necessary. How do you see that? Um, it would say in the range area, oh, range. it would say within range one of a double whatever. Okay. Uh, let me see if my cards have any of that on it. Your second one, right? Yeah. So okay, mine so. there says in range one of a double influence, I can remove a corruption or a blight and then defend that territory for four. Okay. Um, so I would spread out as much as you can. Yeah, I think um, I'm gonna actually go. Um, well, oops, oops, oops. Okay. Um, it also matters if you want to play two. Okay, that it's a coastal area. You can't play influence uh, there. If target land is coastal, coastal is one. just bordering water. Yeah, so that's, that's it's this blue. Right, that's the water. So that means that this wetland is coastal. Mm -hmm. This forest is coastal, and this wetland is coastal, because it touches oh, the water. Oh, I see. Alright. Um, okay, so what if... Because I don't want to take your... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't want to take your stuff down here, because it looks like you're spreading down there. Yeah, I would move... I would maybe put it somewhere central. Put it by putting it in the mountain area there in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, now that will touch every other spot. Almost. There's blight here, though. It's That's freaky. Yeah, there's blight there, but... <laughs> you might better get rid of it later. So oh, yeah. that was just the first turn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But again, we got a free action because of, of the way we set up the game. So now mm -hmm. we're going to do that again, and then the enemies will do their thing. Okay. Um, so I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to... Do I really want a power card this soon? One influence and two energy is cool. I think I need all the energy I can get at this point. Um... He's got a town there and a village here, but I'm defending that area, which is nice. So I may want to do that one. And I'll do four energy per turn. I, I kind of want to... Oh, that's undo. Let me undo that. Um, I, that's one thing about the UI. It's, sometimes it's a pain. Mm -hmm. um, I want to play that. And I want to drag this one instead. I want to try and get two cards per turn if I can. Mm -hmm. All right. So now it's your turn. You get to pick one of those growth options. All right. I'm going to... Oh, gosh. Um, now, I have... My whole deck consists of three energy. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, yeah. The, a total of three energy is necessary to play all of those cards. However, yeah. you can only play so many cards yeah. So you may want to add more presence again so that... But, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, maybe this one. Okay. So you can click on gain a power card. And now on the bottom right, it's flashing minor or major on the bottom right. Yeah. Now, major, if you take one, it's more powerful and more expensive to play. You also have to give up a minor power or any Is other card. Is this your turn? Again, we're sharing. Oh, okay, okay. So, because it's again, it's local remote play, but it is tech. You're doing stuff right now. No, no, no. I know, but like your stuff is blinking. Um, yeah, I don't know why. Uh, so no, it's fine. Minor power. I would do minor power to start with. Okay. 
Because major, again, you're going to lose a card. Okay. So major is losing a card, right? Right. It's a powerful card, but you lose. Yeah. So click on the you button. You permanently lose it. So how do you know which card is major and minor? They're all minor. Oh, these are minor. Okay. So majors just don't show up? Well, majors, no one has dealt a major power at the beginning of the game. It's just. I see. Okay. Everyone, the spirits themselves have a unique deck that they are given. So okay. your your starter cards will always be the same. I see. So now you get to choose one of these four cards. Okay. Um, they're all fast, meaning you get to play them. Uh, one thing to also look at are their icons. Yep. Um, what your looks like you're using yellow and blue. Yellow and blue, yeah. So you may want a card that focuses on them. Um, although that uh, you know, it's up to you on what you think you like. Hmm. Push? What does push mean? It just means to push him back to a yeah, lane? Yeah, it means to push him into a different area. That Pushing is great, because if let's say they're about to build this phase. Mm -hmm. If you push all of them out of that territory, they, they can't. can't build there, because no yeah. one's there to build. Okay. So that's a great control card. It's great for controlling. But not for early on, right? Well, it says push one, explore... Well, yeah, early on's good, because you don't want them... Ex you don't want them getting too too like out there too quickly but there's no explorers out here yet it also says slash town okay there will be an explorer soon after well, we're done playing cards in the beginning here they're gonna yeah. they're gonna do stuff so can i push like a town into the coast and drown that it? Is, no you can't do that <laughs> so what's the purpose of even pushing a town towns also build and they also uh ravage so okay. you want to get them out of there. Now that that icon is city. Yeah. Or, I mean, small town. That's the one on the right. Yeah, the white. Yeah. But this is a town, which is not that. You, oh, you cannot push that. This I is see. a stronger version of this. Towns do two okay. damage to the land they're in. Towns do... No, these do three. Towns do two. And explorers do one. Okay. So now... Does pushing mean that this reverts down to two then? No. Pushing just, you move it to another land. You you so, push it away okay. from the forest area and move it to the wetlands or move it somewhere else. No, okay. But so you can't kinda, push that though with that card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's kind of useless to do that because it's, yeah. For right know. now. But yeah, it may right be now. good later. later. Mm -hmm. Now that card is gather, but you can only play it where the target land has no invaders already in it yeah, so okay. it has to be like a new uh, a land they're not in yeah okay um i'm thinking about doing this one because it has a, ye a yellow and a blue okay and target spirit provides defense to so if if ravage ever happens you can play that on yourself and everywhere where you've got a blue or teal presence you'll defend two in that area which is mm -hmm. good um that's a decent sorry card. What is this thing? That here? is corruption. If you corruption. have, t if you play two blue that turn, mm -hmm. if you if you have two blue, you defend for six no matter what. Mm -hmm. However, if you also play two blue, you can also remove. You instead of defending for six in that land, you can remove uh, blight. Yeah. Okay. Blight. Um. Let's do this one. Okay. And now you and... can add a presence up to two spaces away from. Yeah, I, w I would definitely do that so you can play more cards. Yeah. Maybe um, maybe here? It's up to one? you. Whatever you think. I um, don't know. Well, you don't have a presence in that right side, that mountain. Yeah. So you may want to put it where the town is or that, that city or near it. It's just so you can reach it with powers. Okay. It's up to you. I'll do that. Yep. And... Click on a click a card to play yep, it. So now we're playing cards. Okay. Right. So you're gonna pick what cards you want to play this turn. Um, keeping in mind that you've got, I think, two two energy in the upper left there. Energy, and this is energy. The stuff the stuff yes. in the top left, right? Mm -hmm. Now so, wait, how how oh, how do I? Okay, so I see. So I use blues and yellows and a gray for mm -hmm. these powers. Mm -hmm. 
which is these cards. Okay, I guess. But keep in so, mind that that mm -hmm. power, if you go back to it, you the the massive flooding requirement is you need a double influence and ha range one of a double influence. Yeah. So that's right. right now you can only target uh those I can't two cuz I don't have any double influence, right? You do. Remember your wetlands counts as one. Oh. Um, so this okay. this is a double influence here, but this town does not is not affected by this push one. Yeah. So yeah. that doesn't do anything. However, mm -hmm. this is a slow speed, so it is possible if they explore near you, then you can use that ability to then kill them on a following turn. Okay. You'll you'll see. It'll it'll make sense when we do it. There's okay. a little bit of timing involved. Yeah. Um okay, so for power card. Um how many power cards are you gonna play? <laughs> well I can play one. Okay. Now, towns or these cities on the coast can take mm -hmm. three damage. Okay. So that's not, damage does not carry over typically. Okay. So damaging one thing, it's just not going to be enough. Yeah, and that's two energy. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Um. Uh, that's, a, that's actually a really good one, River is Bounty. You can gather up to two of those people into yeah. a land, and then you add another one. That's mm -hmm. really good because they also attack. They will attack for two each whenever mm -hmm. a land is ravaged and destroy towns and explorers. So having mm -hmm. more of those is good. Maybe I will do this one then. This one? Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, yep. Yeah, keep it up there. You're queuing up the cards oh. for the next phase. So now you can pick another one. I didn't mean to do that. Do I click on it again? Yep, yep click on it. That adds it back to your hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and I could play up to two, right? Yep. Which one is it? Plus two or just two? Plus two is how much energy you're getting per turn. Two is how much energy you have in your pool right now to spend. How do you know how many cards you could play? Is it That's the one. Here? That's oh, how, okay. Mm -hmm. You've got one card left to play. Okay. Um, I'll do... Defense is not necessary because they're not ravaging right now. I and see. defense does not carry over from round to round. All right. Um, if you talking, you know what? I'll just do this one. And how do I give you energy? That's later. Uh, we're not there yet. We're not playing. We're not playing cards right now. We're just queuing them up for the next phase. I see. Okay. So now what? So now I have to pick my cards. Go ahead. Don't finish. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, this is local play yeah so yeah. it's assuming that both both yeah i'm not clicking anything mm -hmm. <laughs> what about that up there that says any massive flooding is that like my innate ability yes so what happened was see that's highlighted blue you played enough cards to get um, one yellow and two blue okay. now you can push one of these things assuming you've it's within range one of a double influence spot but that will not occur until the slow phase after yeah uh, which is probably good because there's none there right now. But if they act and then they land near you, then you could play that and do something to them. Okay. Um, but for me, I can only play one card. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see. This one is two damage if target land has at least three. Okay, I'm just going to play that one, I think. Uh, what's this? Remove corruption, defend. Uh, gather up to two. Nope, I'm going to play that one. And yeah, okay, I will finish playing cards. All right, so now we're in the fast, we're playing cards that are fast now, right now. The okay. only one that you can do is that boon of vigor. Yep. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag that card to the person of your choice. I see. All right. Um... Now that says if... That says if you target another spirit, they gain one energy per power card they played this turn. So either way, you're going to get one or I'm going to get one depending on. Yes. So do you want to, you can target yourself and get energy. I'm gaining energy. three per turn. Energy is the green stuff here? No, energy is the 
points necessary to play cards in the first place. Not presence, energy. Oh, the stuff up here. Yes, the, the, the upper left of the card, the cost. Yeah. So right is that permanent? What do you mean? Is that permanent? I, I don't understand. If you if I give myself one energy, that just you just add one energy to your pool, not 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 to your income, but just to your pool, so that I can play more cards next turn. Yeah. I see. Okay. Well, not not play more cards because you can still only play so many cards based on your uh, play more expensive cards. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. It seems like well, you said you're gaining three per turn, right? Mm -hmm. um, Go ahead and give yourself an energy. That's fine. Are you sure? I have very low energy cards That's though. Fine. But you but you can play two cards at a time. Think of next turn because you've got a one, two, and a one in your hand. So you're mm -hmm. gonna be playing like three, four energy next turn. I see. Whereas Fine. I'm I'm good for right now. Alright. So the invaders will explore. So what's gonna mm -hmm. happen is a card is gonna be drawn from their deck. It's a jungle. So mm -hmm. everywhere where they've got a town or an explore or whatever, they're going to explore that area. Oh, I see. We don't okay. want them there. And that's RNG, right? That's, yeah, in their deck. Yeah, that, that's their deck of cards. I see. So on their next turn... They're going to build. They're going to build in all jungle spaces. We want to yeah. try and get them away from jungles. To stop them from doing that. I see. Um, okay. So now we're at the slow card power step. Mm -hmm. So now we can play all cards that are blue. Okay. I am going to simply just get this out of the way now. Um, deal two damage. If target land has at least three of the inhabitants there, plus three damage and two fear. But I don't need to do that. Um, I'm just going to... Why can't I play that? Oh, crap. The target land has to have... Oh, I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, mm -hmm. I missed. I did oh, not see. Yeah. I need to have a. I need to have, no. I need to have a villager there in the target land. Unfortunately. Wait, which one were you trying to target? My own space, but there's no villagers there. Oh, Crap. now I wonder if I can push a villager there. You might. Oh well, assuming you've got the range, I don't know. But let's see what you can do. Gather up to two people, and if there are now at least two, add one. Hmm. No. Yeah, you can play that. I mean, why not? But where would, I don't you, know. where would you gather them? I don't know. <laughs> I'm still a little bit, a little bit confused. Okay, so the villagers t attack, right? They do attack, and they will reproduce per that card. So, but it has to be in the green stuff, right? That I'm in in my present. According tile. to your card. Yeah. It says zero. range zero. So yeah, it, it has to be in an area where you've got influence. Mm. Okay. All right. Damn. That's a horrible card then. <laughs> What's massive flooding there? Push one. Um, okay, push so you can push one. one explore away from... So you could play that on, say, this guy to the right. Mm. And push him back up to that town up there. And that way he won't build there on the next he won't turn. Build it. What if what if this guy builds on this town? Like does it get bigger? No, just another a, a bigger town gets added to that spot. Okay. Um All right. Oh, it has to be within range of your... It's right. It's a double... Remember that double c condition there? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, go ahead and push that one. And you have to click on them and move them... Go ahead and move them back to my mountain area there. This one? Yep, that's fine. Sure. So now he won't build there on the next turn. You've uh -huh. got River's Bounty. Um, I would gather them... Uh, it has to be a space... Oh. I, 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 yeah, it has to be a. It would it only have to be one of these two, right? I would these, say. Um, I mean, I would say maybe gather. Gathering. What is gathering again? That you means just... you're you're picking a location, mm -hmm. and you're moving all of the uh, well up to two indigenous people to that location. So 
So adjacent from adjacent. Yes. So um, let's say you pick uh, the desert yes. to the right. Yes. You can move people from other areas to there. I see. And if there are at least two there at the end of it all, another one spawns. I see. So you don't even have to move anyone because there's two people there right now. They would just spawn to make a third one. Yeah, I think. No, is that good? Because... Yeah, because that's more defense at that location. Okay. So a new one, yep, another one just popped up. Woohoo. Mm. And yeah, mine mine is awful. I can't do anything with it. Oh. Um, I can do two damage. <laughs> uh, it has to be in a land where I've got... Uh, I just realized maybe you could have pushed have them... Could have pushed them into the wetlands and I could have done the damage there. That's fine. But but doesn't it say, if you hover over the rituals, doesn't it say that you can only do damage if there's at least three villagers? No, that is if the target land has at least three, then deal an extra three damage and two fear. Uh, the target land on the middle of the card tells you the condition for playing it. So it has to and, be within range one of a double influence. And you still can't do two damage on your mountain? Right, because there's, again, the target land does not have an indigenous person there. Look look at but, the middle of the card. Oh, I see. So should I, what if I press undo? Can I? Yeah, you undo? can undo it and move him to the wetland area. I see. Okay, I'm slowly oh, Okay, it. so that's too much. You just un oh, you undid everything. Shoot. <laughs> All right. So I'll do that. Myself energy. So yeah, you you like undid everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I should just control the mouse. <gasps> At least you know where they're going this time. Well, well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So go ahead and use your massive flooding. Uh, that's your river's bounty. That's that's to duplicate people. Yeah, so go ahead and push that one to the wetlands. There you go. And then I'll attack that on my turn. And then you're going to duplicate there. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And I will use that there and kill cool. that one. It's not great, but it's it's a start. Okay, so now we get to pick a growth. Mm -hmm. um, reclaim cards. <laughs> huh? I said I want the one on my back. Okay. <laughs> That's gross. I was just kidding. <laughs> uh huh. I'm going to go with. Um, let me see what I've got here. I need to play two cards at least. So I need to get mm -hmm. that. I need to get a presence out there. Um,. I would like because to add a double here so that I can then um, oh, I do see. more thing. Okay, this is invader skip all actions and target land, defend four, gather up to two explorers. And okay, so I can stop this one from building here by playing. Oh, no, it's a blue card, meaning he, that's going to happen after he builds. That's crap. Okay. Um, invaders skip all actions. I could play that one and prevent him from just building there, I suppose. Um, I'm going to actually play the middle one. Gain a power card and add a presence. Okay. So I want to add a presence and I want to add it to the middle one here. So I now I, I've got a double influence sort of surrounding this area. And then I'm going to draw a minor one. All right, let's see. Something red, preferably. Ooh, I like Visions of Fiery Doom. Range is zero, however. That's the only downside to this. I can push one... Uh, I can cause one fear and push one explore or town. But it has to be within my area of influence. So that would not help me. Uh, but that's really a really good card. Um, Ooh, Nasty Blight. I just noticed that. 
Uh, what are my inherent abilities? Target spirit may repeat one power card with energy cost of one or less. Um, this is two fear. If target land is mountain or jungle. Uh, this one is defend for five. I've already got a lot of defense, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I'll take visions of fiery doom anyway and hope to play that on a future turn. And mm -hmm. then you get to do something with yours. Um, okay. You can add more influence. You can, if you... Yeah, whatever you want to do. How come it says click a card in hand to play it? Um, that's from a previous turn, I think. That's it? Okay. Well, your thing is highlighting. Yeah, well, that's because I'm done with my turn, and now I can play cards, but I'll let you do your thing first. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Um, all right, let's see. Um, I'll be getting six energy next turn, which means I have four cards right here. Maybe... And I can play up to two only. I'm going to probably do the power card. Okay. And hit the top button. Oh, sorry. All um, right. Uh, two blue, two red cards. Mm -hmm. Um. So the bottom left one Ooh. does a lot of stuff, but it also adds blight. Yeah, no. I mean, it's it's decent. Uh, None. Of, there's the no bottom right is there. not bad, actually. Uh, push one, push one explorer or two fear. That one's good. That'll prevent them from doing things mm -hmm. in jungle areas. I would say the delusions of danger, but that's just me. Jump to three. I kind of like this one. Get more cards, right? Um, you could, yeah. I mean, do those symbols? Are you need? Do you need those symbols? Blue and black, yeah. Because this one. Okay, it's up to. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you what to grab. Um. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna do that. One. Okay. Plus energy from two targets away, right? Uh, and yeah, presence at a presence of up to two spaces away from. Um, now you said they can attack me, right? Not yet. The, there's no Ravage. That jungle will go into Ravage at some point. Okay. On the bottom. But it hasn't happened yet. They're going to build okay. this turn. Um, keep in mind that your power yeah. needs double in order to work. That's true. So you may want to double up on an existing one. Maybe the mountain area. So that you can reach everything around you. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Oh. Oh, I forgot. Um. Six. Two. Go with that. Okay. And now we play cards. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. It's fine. I mean, um, this, I don't have a whole lot to, oops. So this one is within range zero. Um, one fear, so I could actually push that over here if I wanted to and still cause fear. That's not a bad idea, but I can only play, I can play two cards. Invader skip all actions in target land this turn. So I could play that and just stop them from doing that. And this is uh, gather up. To, that's a slow one. Uh, remove corrupt or remove blight. Maybe I'll play that one. And I kind of like that one. The problem is, is the symbols they. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the symbols on the left. Yeah, like I'm trying to <laughs> gather up to two. Maybe I should do that. Um, That still doesn't give me the yellow that I need. This will allow me to gather new explorers as they come out. So I'm going to use that in response to what they're going to do. 
Um, so yeah, I guess I'm done with these for right now. Yeah. Actually, not that one. Uh, this one. Yeah. Okay, so what cards are you going to play? Mm, so... No. <laughs> How do I... Okay, there we go. There's no Ravage yet, so yeah. you don't have to worry about defense. Coastal, only if it's coastal stuff, right? No, read the card. One damage. Okay. If the target land is coastal, you get an extra damage. Oh, so true. you could do two damage to the coastal with this card. Oh, I see, I see. Or just oh. one damage in general to an air. That's a good one. That'll get rid of one of the bad guys around you. Actually, you can get rid of that explorer there on the this green. One? Well, no, though. I mean the one to your right. Okay. Um, Range one. Target land any. Mm-hmm. Um... But how many hit points do these guys have? The explorers have one, and okay. the big towns have three. I so see. you're you're not going to be able to stop them from building on the jungle unless you can push them somehow. But I don't think you can. Yeah. Um, Frank is a minor power. Okay. Push up to three after they move, though. Mm -hmm. And how many cards can I play? One more? No, I believe two so. Two more? Uh, yeah. Two. Two, that's right. Wanted to play a fast card. Yeah. Now, with this one, I can I can kill him off, right? Yeah, you could kill... You would... Either one. But you'd want to... If you're going to do one, you'd want to do that one to the right, yeah. That's because empty, right? they're going to build in green regardless on the left. Yeah. Because there's no way for you to get rid of that town, too. So okay. by killing the one on the right, uh, you stop them from building there. Okay. Um, blue, okay, so I have a yellow, two blues, and a mountain. Ah, oh, it would only be the push. That's okay. Uh, he, again, he's going to draw a new card this turn, and yeah. he's going to explore even more. Okay. So we can use some of them to push them away from that biome and mm -hmm. the rest. Yep, yeah, so are we done? Yeah, I'm good. All right, so now we can play fast cards. Um, I'm going to stop him from building here with this card. Mm -hmm. So he can't do anything there. And you can now play your cards. Right, um, You're going to do right. one damage to... Yeah, that'll stop him from putting a town there. Or, yeah. Okay. All right, so now they will build in the jungle. Um, he's going to build there and that's it. He, there's out, out of all four spots, he can only build mm -hmm. in one of them. That wasn't terrible. Okay. All right. So he's going to draw a new, okay. Now he's going to explore in the wetlands. Now our slow powers come into play, and I want to use some of these to move these guys off of the jungles and the wetlands if we can. Mm. Like this, this one is gather up to two, uh, gather up to two explorers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this on the mountain area here, and I'm going to gather that one and that one, Oops, sorry. and that stops them from building there in the future i can also move two uh people so i'm going to move mm -hmm. one two and on a future turn i want to try and attack with them if i can okay. uh for you um you've got target spirit gains a mo so if you want draw more cards yeah oh you can do it too yeah but i'm i'm good all right Ooh. okay um, let's see. Two, okay. So I have no blues here, unfortunately. What is that thing? That two, two sites. Oh. Two of those double influence sites. Target. I see. Yeah, so two of these. 
the That's an energy card. generating card. Yeah. Whoa. It also adds a blight. Wow. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Defend one if target land is jungle and desert sand. Don't defend four. Eh, pretty situational. I have one damage to each. Oh my gosh, defend ten. What would you pick? I kind of like this one, even though there's it a adds blight it adds corrupt yeah it adds blight. But <laughs> yeah, if you have three yellow, you can destroy an entire huge town. Uh, so that's good. How do you, how do you get rid of blight cards? Cards, huh? There are cards <laughs> that can remove blight. Right now, we've got eleven blight in the blight pool on the bottom left. If we run out of blight, then we lose. Uh, so the more we add, the more we could lose. But by doing, I mean that's pretty darn powerful. You could play that on that one green area, add a blight, and destroy like. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm gonna keep my eye out for a card that can get rid of blight. It also has yellow too. Yellow and the mountain. I'd say yellow. <laughs> yeah, you know what. Oh, that, that hurts, though. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> and then massive flooding. Uh, you can push one explorer or one town. town. Building. So, so there. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So, where are we right now? Are we in the ravage phase? Not yet. That's going to be next turn. Right now, we're playing the rest of our blue cards, and then and then the turn. Yeah. Land. Okay. So. I'm but we still want to, to so push. we we want to get them off the wetland and ravage. Oh, that's right. Uh, he's going to ravage your green on the uh, like that green is in a lot of trouble. This but, one? No, the green, the jungle. But oh. there's nothing we can really do about it right now, as far as I can tell. Yeah. So I would say get them off the blues if you can. This this one. Um. These blues are you talking about? Uh, yeah, one of them. I'm not sure which, but. Maybe the top one only because, um, yeah. Well, if he can attack me, though, wouldn't that get rid of my presence? He's not going to attack you. He's going to build there. But yeah, I mean, yeah. If you want to, yeah. If you want to move him out of there, go ahead. I don't. I don't want him here. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I wouldn't move him inland. Maybe, uh, not down because then he'll ravage that. Um. <sighs> That's going to suck. You can move them to the right, but then that opens the door for more. I... How do I, how do I undo? Okay, so maybe I should move this one. Put him. Where are you going to move him? Back to the yellow, maybe? To the uh, mountain. Okay. That's fine. Is that better? Uh, okay. That's fine. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Should I As long, you, that's fine. That's fine. I, I don't know where else would I have moved him. Like, I would have moved else? him to the yellow desert because he's already got a town there. And if there was something that we could do to attack both at the same time with one card, uh, that's what I would have done. But sorry, it's fine. Want to undo it? No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, again, learning game here. <laughs> yes. Um, I definitely want. Okay, so he's going to ravage green this turn. Mm -hmm. So we need to find a way to protect this up here. Uh, do I have any cards that defend four? Uh, they're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six damage to this zone. Ugh, do you have any defense cards? Um, let's see. Defend two. Okay. Destroy three. That's only, that's a later card though. It's the slow card. I see. He's going to attack before that hits. You can play that for after. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me see if I can figure this out. I have the two defend. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Um... Let me, um, mm -hmm. okay. let me look what I do. I, I might reclaim because I need to get more, more, more cards back mm -hmm. and I'm going to do, um, four energy. That's a lot. Of... I hate that my card plays are so small. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Oh, is, per turn is nice. It, hmm? Is it bigger and single player? No, it's it's based on the spirit that you play. Oh, oh. this guy's slow because he's a t like he's just a lumbering giant. So he can play. Look at one, two, two, three, four. You've oh, got one, two, two, three, four, five. Like you, eventually oh. you can play more cards than I can. I see. Uh, I'm probably gonna go for the cards 
Uh, and I want to throw that, um, I'm going to throw that down here because they're going to ravage, oh wait, I need a double one there. Um, undo. Undo. Um, I want to reclaim, definitely. And then I want to add this somewhere. I'm just not sure where now. Um, this one is, actually, no, I could actually push that guy out of there. Yeah, all right, so I will do that. I'm going to put that here. That way I can play this card, which then lets me push him out of that area and prevents it from being ravaged. Actually, no, it won't even matter. So what's going to happen in this case, I will go and undo again. What's going to happen is um, this explorer will try to ravage the forest, but there is a Dahan here, the indigenous person. Okay. This does one damage, and the Dahan, Dahan has two health each. So he's going to damage the Dahan, but not kill him. And then this guy will refresh, and then this guy will attack back and kill him. So I don't even have to do anything here for this guy, which is good. Hmm. Um, you, you have no idea what I just said, did you? No. <laughs> They're going, again, during the Ravage phase, every, of the white, every one of the white tokens will attack that biome. Yes, and the villager is going to croak. The, uh, the, well, no. The explorer does one damage. Yeah. Okay. The Dahan has two health. Oh, okay. So he's not going to kill him. He'll damage him, but not kill him. Okay. Right? And then this guy will attack back for two and kill him. Ah, I see. Because this only has one health. Okay. So I really don't need to worry about this down here. Um, they'll, it'll take care of itself. I still want to reclaim my cards, though. Um, add a pro yeah, I'm going to reclaim cards anyway and try and help you out up there. Um, if I can... All right. Um, what cards do I have? I can push... Actually, I might be able to push that guy off the wetlands and move him... Okay, the one that's above you, or mm -hmm. right here. With this card, I can push him out of there, but I need to get my my token up there, I think. Other options, invader, skip all actions, uh, remove, defend, four. It's within range of a double. Ugh. Uh, gather up to two, that's a very slow card. And two damage. I kind of want to play these two just to start wrecking this mountain area over here. Because that's going to be... If target land is at least 3 to Han, plus 3 damage and 2 fear, that would wipe out all of these guys over here. And then I could concentrate on you up here and helping you out. Am I doing poorly? No. <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to... So where am I going to put this? Um, where am I going to put my token? I'm tempted to put it to the right here to start preparing for invasions from the right side. So I will, I'll do this with it. And yeah. Okay. So now what, what do you want to do? I'm going Maybe reclaim to cards? Middle. No, I'm going to add presences. Okay. I think. And oops. so that way you can play three cards on your turn. I yeah. do. I want to play three cards now. No, that they're going to attack that jungle and destroy so that, your presence there. Yeah. So by by putting it there, you're essentially you're wasting it. Um, you've already got one there in the wetlands. Maybe one here then. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then. Now oh. keep in mind your power uses that double thing, right? So it has to yes. be within range one of a double. So. Is yes. there, do you want to double up on an area like the desert to the right there? This one? No, to the right. That this way one? you're touching the bottom. Everything of, here. Yeah, yeah, right. And now we can play cards. Target spirit provides two defense. Yeah, no. that Tahan is going to get wrecked in the Ravage step. There's no way to stop that, I think. 
Because this does there, how much damage? That's going to do three. The little town's going to do two. And the explorer's going to do six damage okay, incoming on that spot. The Dahan is going to get killed. Unless he gets moved. That. Oh, that's after. Push up to three. That's Again, after. That, that's after. Yeah, that's yeah. why reclaiming cards might have been better, but that's fine. Um, I would be able to push. Oh, uh, this is a slow one too, yes. though. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. But then my discard pile. Where's my discard? Um, Your flash floods could have probably have taken care of that one guy. Um, before he built anything. As far as stopping that mess on the top, I don't think there's any way to stop yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think so. Flash floods. Hmm. Well, reclaiming cards, you can't pick on the same turn, can you? You can. Oh. Well, dang, I should have done that then. Head on, head undo. Well, I'll do it. Sorry, I did it. <laughs> um, there. Gain a power and gain one. Man, I really wanted to gain two energy though, or two presence. presence. It's yeah. okay. You might be able to do stuff with. You might. Ha now you have three fast powers to choose from. You have to pick a minor power card or a major, one of the two. Um, oh. Also, one damage per corruption or blight. If it's a mountain or desert, you may instead remove one. That's not bad. And I have the one that adds blight. Yeah. Oh, but look at this one. Two damage or remove one blade. It has to be used within range one of a double. And then the target land has to be jungle or wetlands. Or wetland. Not it's useless uh, on mountain or desert. Dang it. Although jungle is that one area to your left. I mean The mountain. Yeah, I we mean You have here. one on mountain. I meant here. Okay. You can you can use that. Um you can use that card there to just do two damage to that area if you want. That's a slow speed, though. It is, but still, I mean, you're doing damage. Yeah. Oh. If you target another spring, wow. Wait, if you target another spirit, you may also reclaim one power card. Yeah, so. so that if you target me, that means I get two energy and I can reclaim a card and then you also can reclaim a card. I see. Or if you cool. target yourself, you get two energy and you can reclaim one. Interesting. Um, This is a yellow. I need more blues, though, I think. Well, um. Who? Fear. That adds fear, essentially. That's not good, right? It fears good for adding, like, I mean, that makes our win condition better, but right now um, we need to control where he's at. Yeah, I can't, uh, uh, I like this one. All right, then do it. Because I have that thing that adds. Okay, and it's got symbols on it that will help you. Yeah. So now we can play cards. I see. And I would do the red ones if you can first to see if you can push him out of certain areas. Um, like, because he's going to build in the wetlands and he's going to ravage the green there up there. So we need to figure out a way to stop that if possible. Um, you could play Flash Floods and destroy the... You could destroy the guy on the wetlands area. And that would stop him from building. That's one one option. But he's not. No. Oh, down, the, this on the guy left. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I can do one more with mm -hmm. an energy thing of five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any way to see all the cards, like at the same time? Mm, let me see. 
Is that better? I guess. <laughs> it's confusing. Okay. I'll just do that one. <laughs> Target spirit. Okay, I want this one. Well, uh, no, wait, hold on. I want... Where's that thing? Destroy. Oh, but this adds a uh, corruption into this land, doesn't it? It will. There'll be another one. Well, actually, what's going to happen, if there is a double corruption, corruption will spread, or blight will spread like in Pandemic. I know, so, yeah. Well, so we don't want a card that will add corruption or blight there, because it'll already have one there. What? There's no corruption in here. It will be, once they ravage. When oh. they ravage, that Dahan is going to die, and corruption or blight will be added to that spot. I see. Okay. Okay, well. Okay, hold on. Turn this. I don't need any help down here. I'm good. I know. <laughs> you I know. worry about you. <laughs> I know. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's a way to kill this thing, this town. Why would we need to do that? I don't De know. The desert isn't doing anything right now. All right. So we need to focus on wetlands and green. Mm -hmm. uh, Gatherer 2 is kind of cool. Um, what will happen is, let's say, what you could start doing is gathering your Dahan onto that green spot, and they will reproduce, and that's three of them. The downside is, there's going to be a lot of casualties over there. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. But at least you'll be able to take some of them out. Or, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on. Um, if, if there was four in this jungle... They would still die, huh? Because this is six damage. Yeah, six damage. Dang. Each Dahan both... has two health. How are you going to yeah. do that, though? I mean, like... Because if I gathered... T oh, it's no, a blue ability. I... Huh? It's a blue ability. They're going to ravage yeah. first. Yeah. But right. still, I mean, what you could do is you can you can play that one card, move the, move the two in the wetlands down into the green. They will reproduce, and you'll have three down there to replace the one that you lost. This one? No. These two here. Okay. Move here. They reproduce, and there's three of them now. But I have to... Don't I have to be in target? Like, range zero? Uh, yeah, I guess so, huh? All right, never mind. <laughs> That's what I was wondering, like... Okay, um... Let's do... I'll do... I'll just do to keep it moving. If target is mountain, one damage per blight... I mean, you could use that to remove the one in your mountain area, but mm. push up to three. What if I just use Gift of Power? I love this thing. All right, if that's what you want to do. And I'll I'll get rid of the blight at another time, I guess. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, let's see here. Yeah, it's a tough one. Tough turn. I'm going to try and do as much damage over there as possible. One and two, I think. Over where? Over here to the left. Oh, I see. Once per turn, target spirit may repeat one power with energy cost of one or less. Okay. So I can play this card again. Uh, okay. That's, that's not terrible. Um... Remove, defend for, push. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think this is good. So you're... Actually, what we could do... Hmm. Um. I can gift of strength. I can give that to you. Oh, no, it says repeat of one or less. I was about to say, you could do the Flash Floods card twice, but the energy cost of your card is two, not one. Yeah. So you couldn't do it twice. So I'd say go ahead and use your Flash Floods to get rid of that one guy in the wetlands. That stops him from building this turn. No, no. Wetlands. That Yeah, that one. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. You're fine. That Blue, stops just him. Call, just call it Aqua. Aqua, okay. <laughs> and I'm going to give myself the gift so I can play one of these cards again. They're going mm -hmm. to Ravage the Jungle. Sorry, Dahan. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
How do you flip them over? You have to heal them? Automatically. No, he does. They ta- Bad guys and good guys all heal at the end of the turn back to full health. Okay. So you have to kill them all in one step or not at all. Okay. So they're going to explore yellow next. That's okay. Mm-hmm. So exploring just means that they're there, right? Correct. They don't do anything else. But then they will build there on their next turn. Yeah. Okay. So now they're going to ravage the, the aqua wetland areas. Okay. But as of right now, there's no one there. So that ravage step is going to be sk- like, they, unless we move yeah. one there, which we're not going to do, yeah. they're not going to ravage anything. So are you going to give yourself a power? Yeah, unless you want it. No, I'm good. I know you like your cards. I'm obsessed with the cards. <laughs> Gather up to three and push up to three. That's kind of cool. At a range one. Mm, sorry. One damn. Oh, there you go. Uh, on the top left there. Oh. One, one damage, damage per mushroom. guy or gather up to three. Um, target land has to have a, a guy in it, but um, that's kind of cool. You can do some extra damage with that. Was this one? If target land has your... Influence. One fear and one damage. If target land is a desert or wetland, then an extra oh, damage. damage. Hmm. Let's see. Mm. I don't know. What do you think? Well, what I like is that you've got that one card that allows you to reproduce. So yes. you could... Combine that with Call to Bloodshed, like get a bunch on one territory and then just start attacking with that card. I I like that better. Mm -hmm. Uh, You've got massive flooding, so you can push one guy. Um, I would maybe push that one in the desert back into the jungle. If you can, no, 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 left. Uh, Where where are you? Up left. Yeah. This one? Yeah, you don't want to spread them out. You want to get them contained into one area. You don't want to spread them out. What if they ravage them again? They're not. Well, look on the bottom there. Is is the jungle coming up? No, not yet. No. But if it does, well, then we'll screwed. deal with it when it comes. But uh, as of right now, all right. so I'm going to play gather up to two villagers or um, explorers and up to two. Okay, so I'm going to do that and gather that one, and I'm going to gather that one. And then I'm going to play this card. Two damage. If target land has at least three bad guy or uh, three of our indigenous people, the Han, plus three damage and two fear. So I'm going to do five damage to this spot. And that kills them all. And two fear gets added. Well, fear from the card and fear from anytime you destroy a, a town or a city, fear gets added. Okay. So do you know what happened there? Um, kind of. <laughs> okay, so what I did was I used the one card to move, to, to to get them all into one spot. Yes. Okay. Then I moved my guys into that spot as well. Yes. This card says, do two damage. Just do two damage. But if I've got um... three uh, indigenous people there, an mm-hmm. extra three damage. So I did five damage to that spot. There oh. were three explorers in a small town. And that's a total of five hit points. I so I, I murdered them all. I got two <laughs> fear from the card and an extra mm-hmm. fear for killing that town. So that's what you're trying to do up there. Eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, this one is gather up to two explorers and gather two people. Um, what I'm going to do, now that this inside area is clear, I'm going to play this here. I don't want to gather him. Actually, I will. This is gonna be this is gonna be mean. I'm gonna gather him into the wetlands because he is set to ravage that. Right? Oh no, he ravaged already, didn't we? He already ravaged this turn. Oh no, that's for next turn. I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move him into the wetland on purpose. Because I'm gonna move these guys in there with him. So that when he goes to ravage that spot, he'll just attack one, get that one will get hurt, and then the other two will fight back and kill him. Okay. Interesting. Because he's going to ravage Aqua this turn. But when he goes mm-hmm. to attack it, those Dahan will kill him. Okay. Um, 
So what do you want to do with your your stuffs? I want presents, the middle one. All right, go for it. Um, all right, so maybe here? Um, that's up to you. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, probably should have thought about this. Um, range one. What the heck is this? Reclaim one. That means on your turn, you can now take a card from your discard pile and put it back into your hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was funny. Um, you can put it on the jungle space, and now what? Now you can use cards that... They're not going to wrap... No, no. To the left. That one. This one? Yeah. Now that you can, you can play cards there now that you weren't able to play before and start attacking them if you need to. Yeah. Jungle isn't coming up for a while again, so you can get some guys over there and attack that area and get them cleared out, maybe. Um, I'm going to, real quick. Uh, sorry. Uh huh. He's going to ravage that. This is already good. Um, what would I want to do? Gain a power card, add a presence to a space I already own. I kind of want to start getting up there to protect your area. Um, it's either that or just protect this coastline altogether and then move in to help you um i'm gonna i think i'm gonna gain a power card yeah i'm gonna gain a power card gather one villager or town or gather up the two i like that one already mm -hmm. um the downside is my powers i haven't really used them a whole lot Defend two. If there are no invaders, gather up the two. Nope. Um, rouse the trees and stones. Two damage and push. Target land cannot have corruption on it. Or, yeah, uh, blight. And this one is, that actually destroys the Han. Out of all of them, I kind of like this enticing splendor. It has to be within range zero, though, of a land that I'm on. So maybe... Hmm. This card is cool because I can draw explorers to a location and then let the Dahan wreck them. I kind of like that. So I'm going to use that for defense. Uh, and then I'm going to add a presence. Uh, it has to be within a land that I'm already in. Um, let's go with that one so I can play three cards. And yeah, it has to be, yeah, I guess here. Okay. Uh, what cards are you looking to play? They are going to ravage the aquas. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, they will build in the desert, however. So they will build um, to your right there. Yep. And they will also yeah. build where I'm at, but I'm not worried about that. I'm okay. defending that area pretty well. Can you push them into a different zone with your abilities? Possibly. Let's see. Mm, not with a red ability. I need more reds. Could I defend it? Uh, well, uh, defending doesn't do anything against a build. They're just going to uh, build a town there. That's all. So ravaging is the is where defense shines. Yes. Is that what it is? Okay. Mm -hmm. well, but you could prepare by moving... You, you've already got three people there. Don't you yeah. have a card that lets you attack a space with people in it? One damage per thing. This is after they build, right? right? Fine, but they still have. Yeah, you. If they build there, then those three will attack <laughs> what they just built. You can attack what they just built. You know what I mean? You could take all of them out. Could I do this one too? Then. Yeah, I would. But I would so play fun. it over there to the left, so that you can get some more forces onto that jungle area over there. Oh, onto that. Okay. Um. The river's bounty. I would play on the left, and the call to bloodshed. I would play on the right. Okay. It's up to you. I mean, you don't. You could concentrate on green if you want, but right now they're going to build in yellow. So yeah. I'm focusing on the biome that's more in danger the, right now. 
Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be nine damage, right? No. Towns are three. Yeah. These things are two. Smaller? Two. And explorers okay. are one. That's six damage. Yeah, but he's building though. So yeah, correct. is this going to go up? No. That, he's just going to build a town there. Oh, the same town? It's whatever isn't there now. So there's there's two sizes. There's small and large. He's going to put a large there because there's already a small there. Okay, that's what I was trying to get at. Okay, but so you're fine the large... because their hit points are six. the 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 big one is three. Mm-hmm. The middle, the small one is two, and the explorer is one. Your Dahan are going to hit for six damage if you yeah. play that card. Right? Let me see your card again. Oh, it says one damage per. Okay, actually, I. Mm, yeah, so you're going to do damage to some of them, just not all of them. What you could do is you could use the three damage with that card to destroy the big town that they build, and that would just wipe it out. And that would basically you're countering what they just did. You mean that blight damage? This one? No, the river is bound, or the call to bloodshed. Okay. They are going to build in yellow, right? Yes. You play He's- that card there. And you'll do three damage to that area. Why is it three? Wouldn't it be one, two, three, and then four, five, six? No, look at the card. It says one damage per. It's what it says. They yeah. only, they all, that two damage only comes into play during the ravage step. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, I see, I see. Otherwise, um, the card tells you how much they attack for. Should I just do River's Bounty on that place then? No, because there's, but- I mean, you could, but then. How that green is going to go left on? It's up to you. You could, you could draw people from the top wetland. It's up to you. Uh, you could do that, and then as long as you reclaim, you just have to. You just have to like. Do you want to leave jungle alone for right now and solely focus on the desert, or you know, you could do that. I could remove a blight from the mountain. Right? What is one damage per? One damage per blight. Corruption. So if you target. The jungle area, which has a uh, corruption on it or blight on it, you're going to do one damage to something there. Oh, I see. I see. What you're going to have enough to take out one of their explorers, essentially. I see. That would kill one of their explorers. Mm-hmm. Those are both good cards. I would play them. Yeah. For now, at least. I think. Really, but I can't remove it. I wanted to remove it from this. From this, um, the problem is, is it? It says one damage per blight, right? So if I did this one, it's going to do one damage. It's a, no, 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 no. Look at the card. You may instead remove. Oh, oh, oh. So you can either do one damage to that zone, or. If it's a mountain okay. or sand desert, then go ahead and remove it. Okay. Um, did two damage. Push. Um, okay. So what if instead of doing that, I try to do a... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, you said defend, defense doesn't carry over, and that only takes Correct. place in Ravage, right? Correct. Damn. But you can play cards for their symbols and reclaim the cards on your next turn. Yeah. All right, I'll just, yeah. All right, whatever. That's fine. All right, let me see what I got down here. <laughs> um, so they're going to attack this. I'll just counterattack and kill them. They're going to build in this desert, so I need to stop them from doing that. Not, not what I want. Um, push, uh, skip. I'm going to play that one to make them skip that. And, um, push one. Hmm. I will have to reclaim next turn, I think. I need another orange. Hmm. Defend to... No. No. Okay, so I have to play... I guess I could play that as well for the symbols, but uh, that's not... It doesn't do anything. Okay. 
So I guess I'll have to play these. It's not great, but it'll keep things situa like controlled down here. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I can play more cards, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first thing I want to do is just stop them from building. Just stop them. And this is um, within range zero. I can just add a fear. Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just add a fear. Nothing major there. Okay. And now they're going to ravage the wetlands, but um, yeah, nothing to worry about there. <laughs> they're going to build in the sand areas, except for the one that I put that don't do anything there. Explore. They're going to explore the jungle again. Yikes. Mm -hmm. All right. Slow powers. That's all you at this point. Yeah. Um, okay. So... So it's up to you on how you want to do this. Um, are, do you, are you trying to get them out of the desert there? Like, um, well, they're going to build on the jungle. Ugh. Oh, and they're going to ravage that. Ugh. <laughs> well, let's see. Gather up to two. Um, so what you could do is River's Bounty, the desert area, and that, that'll spawn a new one there. That's four. And then you would do four damage to that area. But what if what if I do what if I gather these two so you can. there's nobody on them? You can. Yeah. And now they reproduce. <laughs> and now called a bloodshed. You're just gonna slaughter them. Yep. Six damage. Yeah, they're up to three now. <laughs> wow. Well, if I gather up to... Oh, no, because no. there's nothing around Yeah, there's nothing... Right? To, a, there's nothing to gather. B, six damage is six damage. Yeah. That gather up to three is only really good when there's <laughs> no one there to begin with. All right, so you just but, added a bunch of fear to them because you pretty much killed them all. Um, one damage per... Light. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you can either do one damage to the jungle there, or you can remove the one in the mountain area. They ravage this, the blight will spread, right? Yes. Damn. So, I mean... I'm gonna remove this. Alright, go for it. I don't like blight. <laughs> Alright, time passes. We do stuff. Yep. Um, I'm gonna reclaim cards for sure. And add a presence to a way. Um, I think I'm going to start doing energy per turn now because I'm getting low. Um, I need to get... Yeah, I can give you some energy. That's okay. In fact, I'll do that on my next turn. No, it's, we need to focus on containing jungle. Because <laughs> right now <laughs> this is awful. Um, okay. So, I could put that there. I could actually play a card that would gather. Um, I'm going to start working my way up toward you, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see it first of all before I do that. Is there a card that I can play that will give me a bunch of defense? Remove corruption and defend four. That's not, that's not awful. I can do that for next turn. Um, three, one. I'm just trying to figure out. I definitely want, okay, I might play that up, up here to try and like contain this. Um, and what are you going to do? Um, let's see. You might want to reclaim cards at this point. Mm. Although you can <laughs> reclaim one, it says already, right? Yeah. What, how do you even do Click that? Click on your discard pile, which is to the upper left. Yep. Now pick oh. one that you want to recall. Pre preferably one that's going to help you in this situation. Uh, that what? flash flood would be great for dealing with that one guy in the jungle right now that could, that could, uh, build. Yeah. So I would I would prefer that one. Okay. Um, um, that way you don't have to reclaim. Now you can just add presence or gain more cards. Um, 
Defense. What if I do defense? You could do that too, but not now mm -hmm. because they're going to ravage in the uh, desert right now. They're ravaging oh, in the that's desert. Right. That's the jungle, right. they're going to build again and then ravage next turn. Now, there's a town here, so do they ravage on this one? They will, but I'm going to I'm going to do something about that. I see. Or try to. Okay. <laughs> Oh, man. One damage. One damage to each. Wow. Um, damn. Okay. Push up to three. I could push. Oh, that's after. Oh, dang. I would, well, first, what are you trying to do? You have to pick a growth first. I know, I know. I was just seeing if I should do... Um, I was trying to plan ahead, sorry. That's fine. Um, <sighs> four cards. I'd be able to play four. I want to play this one for sure. All right. I think I'm going to do... I don't need the energy, though. Yeah, um, do one power card. Okay, let's just do this one. Is there any Did card you don't like? Yeah, click on, yeah, click on, uh, that. You can draw a major one, but then you have to remove one of your minor ones. Which is, honestly, there are a couple that I really don't like. Like this one, for instance. Well, we haven't needed it yet. It also has your yellow and black symbol on it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Dang. I like that one in case of a, a crop storm. All right. Um, let's just do a minor. Two fear of target. Ooh. If it's a jungle, defend three. And it's a red card. Ooh. There you go. Each mushroom deals one damage to a different invader. <laughs> Each mushroom. Or, or up to, <laughs> push up to three. Oh, I need blues though, dang it. I kind of like that one. Okay. Now you can it's add a the, presence. Oh. Hmm? Or ra Ravage, right? Like, this would be good for Ravage, right? Yeah, you want to defend in lands with Ravage. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang it. I keep thinking that... It's fine, you can save it for next turn. You can save it for next turn, it's fine. Hold on. Because it doesn't have any blues or yellows. Target land has a, a people. Push all people. Otherwise, ooh. Ooh, I like this one. All right, go for it. Oh, but it's, a, it's another slow. Yes, it I, I have to. I have to. I'm sorry. Wow. I love these things. <laughs> I like removing blight. <laughs> okay. I'm a horrible human being. Two presents. All right. You're going to so want more energy at some point, right? At some point. Uh, position. What is reposition? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh. Oh, okay. I see. Um, let's go with this one. I will double up. Oh. Your wetlands, do you already have one there? On the top? No, I don't. Your wetlands counts as two, remember? So if you put one up there, it counts as a double. There you go. Okay. Um, cards. I'm definitely going to do this to give yourself, to give you energy. Um, per power card they played this turn. Yeah. Because uh, you need the energy. You have a lot of high energy cards. Well, is there anything that you can do to help with jungle? That I would you want to get rid of that one guy on the right. This one? No, the the jungle down here. This yeah, one? Yeah, cuz he's going to build so, there. So what about flash floods? I would do that one. Well, unless you can move him with something else, but I'd be able to move him with my with my thing. That's a slow my, ability, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. 
I don't think I can move him. With, I, I don't think I can even do this because it's not a coastal. It's, again, look at the card. One damage if the target land is coastal and additional damage. Plus one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, these words confuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry that you can't read. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 real quick, real quick. I thought I can play up to four cards now. Uh, you can. You can still keep going. Oh, okay, okay. Um, they're gonna. So you said you take care of this one, right? Yes. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, target land has enemies. Push all enemies. Oh, they're going to build here. Yeah, but you can't push the town, so it doesn't matter. Whether you play that card or not, they're going to build their... Yeah. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. What about your ability? Uh, massive flooding, what does that do? On the bottom. Uh, the... Yeah. Do do damage, push up to three. So now, now that you're gaining more power... Yeah. Um, that's actually really good. You could here, do two damage. If you play another blue one, you can play that and do a bunch of damage to green. What I wanted to do was play this one after everything was said and done. So, because this blight is going to be removed with the Song of Sanctity, right? So this is going to destroy three towns, one damage to each town. Would that be good because they're going to build a lot here? Um, what The way I'm looking at it? You could do that. However, look at the ability of your massive flooding. Yeah. Instead, two damage to each invader. Oh. So you are going to kill everything except for this big town, which will have one health left. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, I think that's more powerful than the other combo that you're suggesting. You need a blue. Um, a blue and a black. That wash yeah. away will work. Push up to three people. Yeah, yeah sure. It's fine. And then right. for me, I'm going to contain. Okay. I'm going to Sorry. contain this down here. They're going to build in green, so I need to get them. Um, keep, keep in mind, I'm giving you energy as well. So I don't know how that works, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> now I have to use the restroom, Go so for feel it. free. Yeah. That one to push. Um, okay, so I could do that one and that one. Once per turn, repeat of one or less. Interesting. So I could do Visions of Fiery, fiery Doom twice on these two green ones. Range is... Oh, I can't do it there because I don't have influence there. That's going to be a problem. I could then do that and gather that twice. Um, defend two if there are no invaders. So what I could do is I could play this one, move them away from that into the wetlands... I could do that. Um, I'd have to do something about this, though. Can I move... <sighs> Visions of Fiery Doom, I can actually push... That's not that's a large city. Crap. I'd have to play this Year of Perfect Stillness again. To stop them from doing this. And I don't have enough energy for it. So if they're going to ravage that location. Actually no. They're not going to ravage it. Because I've got three three protection there. So they'll just attack it. Nothing will happen. Okay so I don't need, I don't need to worry about this so much. Because I've got three health here. Um, three defense. So maybe I just play what I've got. Um... Defend two, so I can gather up the two. So I can gather these guys away, and then play um, play that one, play these later. 
No. Okay, no, I better I better do this. You know, I I don't need to gather because I've got two here already. Okay, so I'm I, sorry. That's fine. I'm going to play this one and I'll play it on the wetland area so that I can, if there are no invaders present, gather up to two explorers. So it's going to gather this green and this green, move it into the wetlands. Then on the slow phase, I will do damage to them. Um, then Visions of Fiery Doom will help me. What am I going to do with that? I mean, I could kill one of them, I suppose. Do I really need to play this? Um, I feel like I don't, I've got, actually, it says plus one fear. That could help us generate fear. Um, this ability is, I can repeat a, a power card, which what I could do is, okay, I guess that's good for now. I, I'm going to have to reclaim these again later. Okay. All right. So I think I'm done. Okay. So during the fast phase, I'm going to play Entrancing Apparitions. Defend two, and if there are no invaders present, gather up to two. So this will effectively move them away from the jungle spaces so that they can't build there. Um, they may, they're going to ravage the desert. However, I've got a three defense there, and they do three damage, so nothing's going to happen. I do have Visions of Fiery Doom. I can use it in any territory that I want. Uh, this Rituals of Destruction um, does two damage. So I was going to use them, use that on uh, the two in the wetlands. Mm -hmm. So I might use Visions of Fiery Doom in the location where you're at. Because I have influence there now. Just to get rid of it. And that generates a fear. And yeah, I'll just kill... What does that give me? Was that just... Um, push one. Oh, it's not a, it's not a damage to push. Um, if I were to push one of them, I can move it down toward the wetlands here. Sure. All right. And now you can use your special stuffs. Um, you want to flash flood that one on the right, though, I think. Yeah. Prevent him from building there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh-oh. All right, so because we got a fear card, uh, in each land, defend one per Dahan. So we just get oh. extra defense this turn. Doesn't really help us because, uh, yeah. Oh. It's kind of a useless fear effect. They are now going to invade. No, is that permanent? Like, does that go around? No, that goes run? away. That was just a temporary oh. thing. Sadness. The invaders explore. What is it going to be? Ah, wetlands. Okay. Nasty. I'm going to clear out that jungle. If you can. Yeah. All right, slow phase. Um, um. Oh, that's an uh, wait. So, oh, this is an otherwise, not an instead, right? So, if I do use this on that, I have to push everything. Yes. Oh man. Actually, hold on. What if I did this? What if I pushed? these guys here right okay and the town i think it says push town? up to three yeah okay and then i use this to remove that okay. is that good yeah you've also got massive flooding what actually that was a bad idea <laughs> was it undo mm -hmm. Yeah. You I could saw have that. just killed everything. <laughs> yeah, just use it there. I'm just saying, like, I think that's the better. 
Yeah. <laughs> so what is this? It's, it's, it's damaged. Over. It's damaged, but it's it will restore its health at the end of the turn. Oh, unless I kill it or no? I don't think you can, but... Okay. Now I can do that. Yes. Get rid of the blight. Um, push up to three people. Should I push the wetland people out? Can you reach all the way over there? Oh, one range. No, I can't. So instead, you just push... you just you just activated it. No. Sorry. So I, mean, what I if would I push did... them back toward the coast. They're gonna ravage that area there. Actually, that's fine. Maybe wait, ravage what? It, Don't, aren't at, they... the, at the end, at, at, at the next turn, they're going to ravage the jungle spaces. So I'm just saying, maybe try and get them out of the wetlands or the jungle, or get them out of the wetlands and the jungle spaces. There's no one in the jungle spaces. Yes, there is. There is the city there. Oh, oh, so the city can ravage. Yes, cities can ravage. Any any white piece can ravage. Oh, that's annoying. Again, the, the amount of damage they do. Large cities are three. Uh, you can't. Uh, large mm -hmm. cities are three. Medium are the small ones are two, and the uh, explorers are one. Okay. So I would so maybe say maybe push that guy out. Well, here's the thing, though. When he goes to... He's going to build there. Yeah, I would get him out of there because he's going to build something there. Mm -hmm. So maybe put him to the... I would put him... Yeah, the mountain's fine. Or maybe here where all these villagers are. You could. Um, <laughs> if you can draw that other one to that desert area, then you can kill him. Kill them both. Yeah, I can't, though. That's fine. Um, I have Rituals of Destruction... So mm -hmm. I'll just play that. Um, actually, it's a double. It's within one space. So what I could do, he's going to build there next turn. I can clear that land out of explorers, or I can work on these three here. Um... No, just to no, I can't do that. Oh, it has to be a land where I've got within range. Okay. Oh, I have within range one. Why is it not not working? Oh, my target land has to has the Han in it. That's right. Okay, so we'll just I'll have to do that. Okay. So it's not terrible. Yeah. Now they're gonna build this turn in the wetlands. Ravage the jungles and build in the yep. So we want to get yeah. some defense up there in the jungle. Um, I'm going to reclaim my cards for sure. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to add a presence up here. Okay. This will give it a three defense naturally. So when cool. this thing attacks, it's going to be useless. It Yay. does three damage and my protection now does three defense. That's so awesome. we don't even have to worry about per to stop this ravage. We don't have to stop it. It'll just defend. Okay. Um, so now you get to pick a growth. All right. Um. Probably gonna reclaim. <laughs> I only have two cards. Yeah, here. probably a good idea. Oh, I can reclaim one of the discard. Yeah, but you would only have three and then you'd be, <laughs> Thank you. one would go to waste, so. All right. You get to gain a power card, though. Yes. Um, actually, is there any card that I don't want? We're good on energy now, so maybe get rid of one of those, or maybe a blue card that you're not using anymore. I don't know. Maybe. What what cards don't give you... that? that go back there, what was that? I like this the, one because I can get cards. Yeah, but it's a minor power and there's only four left in the deck. Oh. So okay, I'll, I'll get rid, get rid of, that. of that one. I'm just saying, so I would get a major one. These are a bit more powerful. Okay. Wow. Wow, the energy on that. Okay. <laughs> it's not terrible. The one on the bottom left is like four. Oh my gosh. Two damage per blight. Plus... We don't have a lot of blight anymore because I've been taking no. it out. So. Well, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. It's not bad. 
Mushrooms have plus four health while entering. Oh. You have... Oh my gosh, too complicated. <laughs> Use each other's presence to target powers. Oh, that's not bad. Um, it's more support, pick. though. I'd rather, at this point, yeah. murder him. Because this is going to get harder. Yeah. The deck right. of cards uh, are going to have multiple biomes on it at some point, and they're going to spread out like, wow, we need to like contain them. Right. And we're, our, we're not close to winning the game either, which is sad. Really? Um, we're just not, yeah, because we need to clear the entire board right now. The, the fear level is not high enough. We mm -hmm. need to get all, well, we'll just keep playing and then hope for the best. Um, so you're going to play cards? Yes. So they're going to ravage jungle and build oh, it. Did I just undo? I don't know what you did. Yes, you did. I, cl I clicked on these. Damn it. All right. Did it just change the cards? It better not have. No. Yeah, I wanted this one. And I have to get rid of this one. Okay. All right, and now it's play now cards. Now we play cards. Okay, go ahead. All right. Um, don't <laughs> have to worry about ravaging. I do have to worry about him building here. So anything I can do to stop that from happening. Um, visions of Fire Doom. I can push him out of there. Um, I can skip. No, remove. Nope. Gather up to two. I like that damage just trying to get trying to get these cleared out um all right let's do that and that and defend two if there are no invaders present gather up to two um Okay, this one does... I need three freaking Dahan here. So what I need to do is... I need to use this one twice. So I need to make sure that I'm triggering this power, which I did. Okay, so I'm good there. Um, up here, these wetlands over here... Um, push... I do have two orange. I could cause... What are you doing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know you're all tabbed playing, but... Uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm yes, not. I was... <laughs> yes, you are. Why no, are you lying? Was... I'm not. <laughs> wow. I, I could never. That's rude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, Visions of Fiery Doom... I guess that's good. I'm going to try and contain this. You up here, um, mm -hmm. we need to get rid of the, the wetlands up here. Well, yeah, the wetlands is the biggest concern right now. Is there anything that you can do? Or any red cards that get rid of two of them or push two or anything like that? Um, yes, that one. Isn't that for a ravage, though? No. It just does it one damage to the target land. Okay. And then an additional one because it's on the coast. So that would okay. kill both of those guys. Um, gather up to two. Is there anything that you can do to get rid of those guys on the right at a later step? What if I... I like that one because you, you can add it to that mountain area to the right there. However, it says t range zero. I would have to have a presence on here, right? Yeah. Or you can add it to the left. Like, you can start pulling them, pulling them back to the middle again. I don't know. Are you okay in the bottom here? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Pretty sure. Um, you know what? I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that until I have presence in there. Um, 
And one corruption. Destroy. Do you have three yellow? You can just destroy it, that town and be done with it. I think I might do that then. All right, go for it. It's going to add a... That's fine. We can always get rid of it later. Yeah. One damage per... Yeah, I like that. Because we can start. We can kill that guy in the desert. I'm going <laughs> to get these guys off the board. Alright. One damage per blight. Now, is this for any land that I'm in range of? That I have double presence on? Yes. Because if so... But you're going to kill... You're gonna... I could kill this guy, right? Yeah, but no, it's one damage per... There's no, there's no blight over there. Oh, I thought it was just like no, per, per that blight land. anywhere on the map. No. Okay. The range is one. Okay. Damn. Target land has push all. Okay, so what if I well, did... Maybe it is one. You can try it. I don't know. I, I mean, now that I'm rereading the card, it doesn't say in target land. It just says one damage per. That's fine. I'm going to do this. Hold on. If target land has thing, push all thing. Push up to three thing. Okay, I'm going to do this one, and then I'll do the mushroom people. Because okay. that way, this mountain guy can move here, and then yeah, my, ma my mushroom works. people can hit them. All right, finished? And, yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Um, Visions of Fiery Doom. Um... So I'm trying to remember what I was going to do. Gather up the two. Um, I can push that one back this way, I guess. Yeah, just to prevent him from building over there. Okay, and then I can do... I can gift someone... Is there something that you could do twice? Um, mm -hmm. With a power one. Drought. <laughs> destroy three. I could destroy those two buildings. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give map. that to you because, like, well, yeah, I can only give. I can only allow someone to repeat. One. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to you because you've got more cards that have power one uh, than I do. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right, so you've got Flash Floods. I would play that on the wetlands and get rid of those two guys. Uh, okay. Because it's coastal, so you'll do two damage instead of one. I see. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's He's going to speed. Ravage, but it was blocked. Okay. They're going to build in the wetlands. They can't. Now they explore. They're going to explore the mountain area. Notice they only got to two mountains because the rest were inaccessible. Yeah. That's what I mean by pushing them to the coast so that they can't gain access to these other ones. You know what I mean? So they can, yeah, so they can only explore um, on adjacent. Adjacent, correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather that. And I guess that's it for that. And then I'm going to gather this and this. And then Rituals of Destruction, two damage. It's not enough. I wish... Oh, uh, I played that on you. I should have played that on myself to draw more in. That's okay. I'll do it next turn. Right. It's fine. That's my fault. Um, I'll do damage here and take out uh, these two explorers. It's going to be two damage. Okay. And now you can move that one guy. Did I destroy the buildings? Yeah, go for it. Oh, what in the world did that do? Okay. It also killed... Presence there as well. Destroy three... Oh, adding a corruption also removed our influence tokens there, but that's okay. Mm, yes. We'll just add them. We'll add another one there next turn. But we got rid of it, which is good. Mm. Now can you... Here's... I'm confused though. It says if I have three yellows, do I have to play my three yellows first before no, using that? No, but you did. You you destroyed it. You destroyed it. 
what do you what do you oh question? oh i see okay i thought it would destroy both no okay the target okay. land okay um so now can i do oh actually i probably shouldn't do that then because it's still blinking right well you can't reach it oh yeah it does okay i would say do this uh, here do this um you're didn't you say there was a way to pull these guys into how are you yeah. going to pull these guys into the desert? Um, I was going to. I forgot how. Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess you didn't play the card. One damage per blight. What? Hold on. You I'm played the wrong card. Now. Did I really? Yes. <sighs> it, we'd have to go back. Uh, what I'm, not, I'm not going back all the way. I just went back one turn. One damage per blight. That would have been just here, but that does nothing. Yeah, that's kind of useless. Sorry. All right, whatever. I'll just get rid of that town. How the heck did I play the wrong card? I don't know. Hen. I meant to play this one. Shoot. Okay, whatever. Well, at least you can get rid of the one in the desert, right? Yeah. Unless... Here, what? Here, here, hold on, hold on. Um, They're gonna build. Hold on, hold right? On. How do I? How do I do that? Uh, you you have to undo. Okay. So so what if I did gather up to three here? No, wait. It has to be a range of one. So can I gather up to three here? And can he? Oh, the fighting is only on the ravage. I keep forgetting. Alright, whatever. Alright, and I would say use use the call to bloodshed again to move Oh wait, well, okay, now you can't gather up to three. Oh, and it has to have mushrooms on it. Yes. Oh, this whole turn. Well, just get more. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'd say just finish. Oh, oh. wait, how can it... Because you can gather... I wouldn't move that. At some point, they're going to be able to come back to the island via the coast. So we want to build up a coast presence. Damage. Okay. You could remove that one blight, right? I, from I the can't. It, ha it has to be mountain or sand. Oh. Okay. It's fine. Is that good? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I meant like, is it good that I clicked on it? I didn't want it. It's fine. Um, I need to re-add a presence up here, I think. Sorry, you sounded um, so disappointed. It's fine. <laughs> um, Dana, I'm going to reclaim cards again. And um, energy per turn. I'm going to do four cards, I think, now. I'm going to put that back up here. Just to guard that area. And what are you going to do? Mm, I think I'm going to... Probably... I would just keep reclaiming at this point. Uh, well, you get a free reclaim. Uh, so if you go to your discard pile, you can see what you... So is there one of those that you would... Flash Flood would get rid of one of those guys. Yeah. So I'm I'm more inclined for that one. one that's good too, but that's a slow, slow power. Yeah. So you can either reclaim everything or just I'll do I'll do the reclaim oh, did I undo that? I don't know what you did. Okay. Um yeah, so the flash floods because okay. it's a red it's a red card. That's fine. Um I wouldn't mind re adding presence to the coast or actually getting presence to that other mountain spot. Right. This one? I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, because I'm starting to need the energy. I'll do this. Mm -hmm. And this, because I'm sick of this guy. <laughs> okay. Now we play cards. Yep. Um, and then that card that I just reclaimed. <sighs> They're building this turn, right? 
and they're ravaging wetlands. Wetlands have nothing, so we're good Correct. on that, right? They're building, yes, yeah, so a- anything to get them out of the mountains on the top. Okay. Range one. I'm going to do flash floods to get rid of this guy. That gets rid of one of them. Yep. Yep. Um, what is that? Which one? One, one? one damage and defend two per... Oh, you don't have anything. Unless you play... If you have two yellow, two black, and two green, you can push two of your Dahan into the other territory and then use that... Yeah, you need... you need, Or or you could just get a yellow and a blue and push one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So either way. Shoot. Um, I would start, I would play that gather because then you can start moving them back toward the middle because they're going to come back to the coast at some point. Yeah. Um, okay. That and if target is from Dang, this is a good one to get rid of that blight there. Okay. Yeah. And... There's no... Okay. I think that's it. Oh, and... I'm going to give myself some energy because it seems like I'm running low. Well, you're going to get seven. Yeah, you get plus four plus the three that you have. That yeah. plus four hasn't kicked in yet. Yeah, I know. But if I'm going to reclaim next turn, I'm, I have a lot of twos, I think. Right? Okay. Then two damage, push up to two. Yeah, whatever. Okay. That's I think good. I'm good. All right. Well, let me play mine. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, let's see here. Defend two. Invader skip all actions and target land this turn. Yeah. Remove, defend. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that one and that one and that one and. I don't know how anyone can play this on like regular board game. It's possible. Invaders oh. skip all actions and target land. Remove. Cr- okay. Um. I kind of gather up to two. It's kind of useless. Um. I need. I need yellow. So I'd pl- I'm going to play that one solely for. Um, the icon. Mm-hmm. And done. This should be it. I'm hoping this should be the final turn. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, maybe. <laughs> you um, said we let's take care of you first. Um. I could play this. Um. Well, what are you going to do with yours? Um. I wanted to give myself energy Go first for and it. foremost. Oh. Oh yeah. wait. Her power card they played this turn, so maybe that should be last. Well, um, I would imagine that's four. No, you played four right now. The fact that you bought these, you played four. Okay, so I yeah, can do you're that. Gonna get, you're gonna get near unit. Oh, maybe not. Mm-hmm. Undo. It's weird. Okay. So just get rid of this guy? Yep. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> well, I'd, yeah, go ahead and give yourself that boom. <laughs> oh, it's, it's only four. That's weird. Number. Uh, let me see what that is. Oh uh, no! It just says if you target yourself, gain one energy. If you target uh, another spirit, they gain. So I would gain four. I see. You only gain one if you target yourself. Okay. Do you um, want it? No. Okay. I'm going to stop them from building. And um, do you have anything to? Actually, I wonder if I should push them into your territory. Can you attack? Um, I can gather. <laughs> but can you attack with uh, your ability? It oh, says two yeah. damage. Yeah, you could attack. 
Yeah, you could attack that one. All right, so I'll focus on myself down here. I'll add some fear. And I'll give myself this extra thing. And I could do one of these again, or I can do one of these. Um, um, I guess I'll... Yeah, I'm not going to reuse these, but um, I want to reuse one of my blue ones. Okay. So, we're, each player moves one... Oh. There are no lands with explorers. Okay, so unfortunately, if there were explorers on lands with the Han, we would remove one of them, but... I see. The invaders build in the mountains, but I stopped that from happening. The invaders explore. Oh, good. That's actually really good for us. They're exploring yeah. the sand area, which is where you have a presence. Um, mm -hmm. Their explorers don't spawn anything, so... Okay. I am going to just get rid of these Kais now. Um, I need to first move Dahan into this zone, so I'll do that. And then it's five damage total. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Okay. So finish gathering and then just do that. And this is gather up to two explorers and two Dahan. Uh, and it has to be one. Of, okay. So if I did that... And, uh, oh, I can't use that again. Darn it. Um, do you have, what do you have in your, okay, That's you have no way to damage. Oh, massive flooding. Why don't you just do your massive flooding? Okay. And remove them, kill them. For this guy? Yeah. <laughs> there are no invaders on the island. Good job. Oh, wow. Nice. You said we weren't even close. I got scared. I thought... We well, were... we weren't until we started controlling the board more. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Now, that was just the one spirit. Each spirit has a different way of playing. Yeah. So... What was second wave? I think that's just like play again, but with harder difficulty settings. Cool. Mm -hmm. So what did you think? Did you enjoy that? Or was yeah, it complicated? I, I liked it. It was a little complicated. It, the ravaging and the uh, the building, I, I have to get used to like when they attack. Like When can you defend? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like this game. I remember playing it way, way, way back in the day. And I had fun with it. I think I uninstalled it because it didn't have any achievements. <laughs> well, I guess that just clinches it. <laughs> Screw, I mean, the game might be great, but if there's no achievements, uh, well. No, no, well. I'd play this again. That was fun. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Two and a half hours for one game. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully the next game will be shorter. Oh, boy. <laughs> if you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. And Ida Lee, say bye. Yep. Bye. Bye, guys. I was <laughs> waiting for you to say thanks for watching. Thanks oh, wait, for you watching. Say it. Oh, my God. Bye, guys. This is the greatest outro ever. Oh, my gosh. Bye. So many mistakes. It's a lot of edits. Bye. Bye.